America is one of the greatest nations in the world, and really the world feels the, the power of America and the influence of America. And they understand that America has 600 military bases and America is pretty much uh, the world empire or this is the American empire that's controlling the world because they have the, the most powerful military and they have the richest backing by the state of Israel and those uh, Zionists. So they understand how America uh, has power. And so these are the nations, they uh, envy America, even though they follow all of, all of the American uh, influences. That's why when you go to Revelations, it talks about the nations drinking the wine of Babylon, getting drunk off the wine of this harlot. And this, and this harlot was called Babylon, the great. You see, when many nations come and deal with this place, uh, it's not a one, one nation country, it's many nations flood into the country and they all getting rich off this one country. And so when you go into Revelations, you hit, get a clear picture of how uh, America influenced the world and all of the merchants of the world, they use America to get, get rich and to live luxuriously or deliciously, how Revelation said. Well, let's go into one facet of this situation how America would uh, pretty much come to a, a tough situation in its existence and in current history, we are almost at that point. So let's go to Revelations. Let's go to Revelations chapter 17 and see What's America's destiny? I mean, it's destined to happen. So, when you get to 17, it talks about America. And in scribe America, it say, verse 5, it say, And upon her forehead was written the name, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. So, it lets you know, how America will be full of abominations and it will be, have a major uh, problem with whoredom, a land of whoredom, you see, and it will be the mother of whoredom dealing with the world. But in verse 17, it talks about uh, a situation that's going to happen to this place. And I'm going to start at 16. It's saying the ten horns that you saw upon the beast, these hate the whore. You see, it's going to be ten kingdoms that's going to turn on the whore. And she'll make her desolate and naked, and she'll eat her flesh and burn her with fire. 17, for God has put it in their heart to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of God shall be fulfilled. And so, uh, 18 is saying, the woman which you saw is that great city, great country, America, which reigneth over the kings of the earth. And so this place will be betrayed by its allies and they will join the other nations and they will burn this place to the ground. And so that is what you see when you talking about the hatred of America. They're going to try to steal my So due to the abominations and the whoredom that America uh, possesses, uh, abominations like homosexuality and um, you got marriage is just a failure in America and single parents, single mothers, fatherless children, murders all over the place 
and the place is full of confusion, uh, miseducation, uh, the, the highest prison population in the world. And so this place has, has got a bad rap, not only with the other nations, but with God. So he's fed up and he's putting it in the heart of these other nations to want to attack America. You see, and that's what we have here. and the United States, tensions have soared to a new high. Both countries hold extremely negative views of each other. Iranian leaders are even known to chant death to America in their public addresses. However, some countries have even less favorable views of the U.S. So which countries hate America the most? Well, according to a recent Pew poll surveying 40 countries throughout the world, the Middle East is the most critical region of the U.S. and its actions. Since 2001, the United States has fought a war on terror throughout nations like Iraq, Afghanistan, and Syria. This has resulted in countless casualties, severely damaging the United States' popularity in the area. This is on top of America's historic support of Israel amid the Israel-Palestine conflict. Jordan, which borders most of these war-torn countries, hates the U.S. more than any other nation surveyed. 83% of those polled held unfavorable views of the U.S. Surrounding areas like the Palestinian territories, Lebanon, and Turkey also held similar negative views. The country with the second most unfavorable view of the U.S. is Russia. After Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014, the U.S. led a series of sanctions against Russia. Today, Russia is in the midst of a recession, which some blame on U.S. and EU sanctions. Russia also controls its media, which weighs heavily on public opinion and regularly demonizes the U.S. Just a few years ago, Russian approval ratings of the U.S. stood at 51%. Today, this has nosedived to 15%. Russia's economic dip has also affected U.S. perceptions in countries with strong business ties to Russia, like Argentina and Venezuela. Also, a few nations in Asia, like Pakistan and Malaysia, have significant negative views of the U.S. This is mostly due to their national Muslim majorities, which generally sympathize with other Middle Eastern Muslim communities. Pakistan also shares a border with Afghanistan, where part of the U.S. war on terror is being fought. For this reason, Pakistan has disapproval towards the United States at 62%. Most countries with anti-U.S. views have been opposed to the spread of Western dominance. Anti-American sentiments have become so deeply entrenched in some places that the belief has become symbolic of something larger. Dissatisfaction with the way current global politics are skewed against certain territories have caused many to turn to more militant organizations in order to initiate change. You're probably curious to find out more about each individual... And Russia is one of the main enemies of America. And they will be leading the charge when it comes to the enemies of America. And when America's allies uh, switch out on them, they're going to join Russia, China, Iran, and all of the Middle Eastern countries. And they're going to burn America with fire. And that's thus said the Lord in the Holy Bible. But just want to bring that out. All praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem and Kakadash, double honor to the elders, pushing the truth, peace of the elect worldwide, death to America, death to these red dragons.